All right, so starting of a new channel. Got going off here. Uh, old channel, Thunder Bay Bomb Squad. Gonna still be posting up videos to that thing. Uh, I mean, pretty much this is just gonna be reviews and shit uh, on some products that I like uh, that I think people should get. So right now, kind of strapped for cash. So this is basically all the shit that I got. First thing I'm gonna do a review on is gonna be this uh, crink marker here. Crink. Whatever the fuck it's called, K66, I forget, I don't know. Picked this up at Uncle Mowgli Skate and Paint, word up. Local Thunder Bay uh, skate shop, if you ever come down to 807, uh, Danger Bay, fucking check that shop out, it's on Red River Road. Uh, really good shop, ran by an artist, James Wheeler. Pretty nice, pretty cool. Uh, fuck, don't know why I threw that. Uh, marker's really good. It's good for writing on rough surfaces and like other crank markers that are gonna fucking fuck that. All right, other uh, surfaces that are gonna rip the nibs off. Uh, so this is this is pretty good steel tip. Just take off the top here. Pretty good. Uh, I like it. Pretty durable. Really nice. Pick this up. Order off a of bombing science or some shit. Uh, next marker got up here is uh, the grog cutter. This is a, like a chisel tip paint marker filled with grog paint. Now it's not ink, it's, it is paint. Uh, so, I mean, it gets drips, but it's kind of hard. You really want to juice this up if you want to get drips. Uh, I'll just pop off the top here fast. These things get also like really messy. So make sure you fucking like open this shit upside down so you don't get paint everywhere. I made that mistake more than one times. So yeah, I would pick this up. Not as good as grog squeezers. I mean, grog squeezers are amazing. You get like massive drips off of those things, but this is uh this is still pretty good right here. Uh, I think this color. I don't know what this color is. Probably fucking I don't know. We're just gonna say blue or sky blue or something. I can't remember this stuff. All the paint I inhale. The last product I'm gonna be reviewing today is Spanish Montana. Uh, really good high pressure paint. Unlike the German Montanas where it's low pressure and it's like you know takes a long time to fill in stuff. This stuff is good. Use the, I use this can up. Uh, I really like it. Good for bombing and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, really good. I'd pick that up. And yeah, that's basically it. Uh, yeah. So, I guess that's it. Peace, YouTube. See you next time.